Hey guys, I'm Rodney. And I'm Jake. And today we're going back in time. Today we're going to show you how one of our favorite spaces of the house has evolved over the years we've lived here. Okay, so we got this awkward little pad here that really doesn't do anything. So, uh, comes right off the dining room and we figured why don't we take this fence, extend it back, and then create a little private like seating area for us to hang out. Privacy, then we take the curtains off, bring more light in. It's gonna be awesome. So since the house was built, this section of the yard has always been a driveway leading up to the original carport that you saw in the dining room video. We also have really hard cleachy clay soil. And so that soil combined with all of the material put down for the driveway, as well as 60 years of compacting with the vehicle made this soil really difficult to dig in. be like a butterfly something. Uh -huh. <laughs> what gym equipment would that be? <laughs> so once we had all the holes prepped, we obviously got all the bracing up to hold those four by fours in line square and plumb with one another, but also to be sure they were square up and down. We did decide to concrete the gate posts in first. And then in that original version, we had a gate here that went into what was the original courtyard space. So we concreted those guys in to make sure that they were nice and plumb and square. And you'll see the two by four across the top that held it all together in square with the house. We also finally got a mixer attachment for the drill to make mixing the concrete in these buckets so much easier. This is our new uh, obstacle art. course. Yeah, our new obstacle course we decided we wanted in the front yard uh, it's for parkour and crossfit stuff. <laughs> uh, you know, functional workouts. And it's decorative.
When we first moved into the house, this section of fence was done with upcycled pallet wood. And though pallet wood is really great for something fun, quick, and easy, it's also super inexpensive. Pallet wood is rather thin, it's typically untreated, and it can rot really quickly. So you can start to see what we're trying to do. Basically, so many trees and stuff. This is just gonna open into this little area right here. And so right off that side door there, we we'll probably have like some tables and stuff, but the palms are all gonna be in here. And then a gate right there going into the front yard. What do you think? I think it's nice and open. Excited? Yeah, I like this new layout better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's some bugs in there. This is where the wall was. They literally just poured the concrete you did a really around bad paint it. Job. I did a bad paint job? Yeah, look. Yeah. You missed a spot. No, no I did not. You did, you touched up, remember? It's more yeah. raining. I have to do everything. Shut up. Knowing that this was the first of probably several phases, we avoided building a new gate and reused the original pallet built gate in the new spot. So though the pallets weren't a super great material for a long-term fence, one thing we did come to realize is that they gave the doggos a good little viewport out. So when we designed the new fence, we used uh, 1x6 and 1x4s as part of the design to add a little bit of interest. But we knew we didn't want just a fully solid fence, we wanted some dimension. So on the bottom we used 1x6 with a 1 inch gap so that the dogs could see out. And then as that 1x6 progressed up, we also placed 1x6s staggered on the inside to block those gaps at important heights for additional privacy. And then we got to a certain point, about two thirds of the way up, and we changed to 1x4s and also changed that detailing on the interior. That's what allowed us to basically get a little bit of depth here and it didn't look like just one flat surface. All right, so we have gotten the original fence down. We've got the new fence up mostly. Tomorrow we have to put a cap up to the top. We need to, are we finished uh, moving the gate? And then we paint and we're done. So the painting got done while I was at practice. Got a few extra boards up as well for privacy. It's looking sharp. And since no project's ever done by itself, of course we had to extend the fence on the other side of the house and paint it to match. Just put in these new stepping stones, which will be more obvious since we finished cleaning them off. And of course, doing two fences wasn't enough for the project, so why not do some concrete stenciling while we're at it? 
We used a concrete uh, paint, actually, uh, that's supposed to last years. This is four years later now, I think. Uh, so it's actually held up pretty well. There are some heavy foot traffic areas and I have been able to power wash this as needed, but design-wise, it's held up pretty well. Having fun? Oh yeah. So Rodney has got all the painting done. Now we're trying to figure out how we're gonna decorate the space. Ooh, little little hiney showing there, babe. Oh, so of course, he's gotta have his metallics. So we're testing if we want to spray paint this. Champagne mix. Copper, gold, champagne mix. And here's the finish. Product. All right guys, so that's it for episode one or phase one of eventually what becomes our entire courtyard. The only problem we ran into is that we quickly realized by closing off just this section outside of the dining room, it was still or added difficulty getting to our front door. We liked the courtyard so much in the private space it gave us under the oak tree that we extended it all the way across the front of our house. So stay tuned for episode two, where we show you guys how we took this small little courtyard space into a much larger one that covered our entire entryway. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, as well as our other social media channels on Instagram and TikTok at Rodney and Jake. You can also check out our website where we cover blogs of these projects and others, as well as a merch store, rodneyandjake.com. And as always, thank you guys for following along and a big shout out to all of our members. We'll see you guys next time. See ya. Hi, I'm Rodney. <laughs> <laughs>